this is going to be a three-part video series the first part I'm going to show you how to remove the stock downpipe the DPF which is short for diesel particulate filter and the stock exhaust in the second video I'm going to show you how to install the new downpipe the catalyst downpipe the DPF delete and the rest of the exhaust. Right now I'll go into more detail in the second video. I just got these um, freshly ceramic coated to reduce heat. And in the third video I'm going to show you how to use the Flash Zilla um, to tune the Q7 with the new um, exhaust system. To get a better understanding for what we're going to do in the first video, we're going to remove the stock downpipe which has the cat and the new one that I got is catless and then we're going to remove the DPF filter which is going to be pretty much a straight pipe and then we're going to remove the old stock exhaust. In removing the stock exhaust what I'm going to do is remove, work my way from the exhaust tips all the way up to the downpipe and remove them section by section. On the drive on the passenger side where the this big old muffler is you have two 13 millimeter bolts we're gonna remove here and here as well and there's also the same exact bolts on the driver's side so we remove that and that and then we're gonna work our way along the exhaust And then there's another two 13 millimeter bolts here and here. And then you got this, um, you can see it good, this little coupling right here that connects this part of the exhaust right here to the exhaust. So we're going to remove these two 13 millimeter bolts. Um, one thing to keep in mind, because this is going to be pretty heavy I'm assuming, if you can get yourself a jack, a floor jack and have it up against this right here to, so when you do loosen it up it just doesn't fall on you or crush on you. So this is the rear part of the muffler, the exhaust system. Now continue working back to the en engine we're going to remove this sensor right here and this sensor right here too and then as you move along we got another 13 millimeter bolt right here that hold the exhaust and moving further along from here we got another um, holder that holds the exhaust and these ones are 16 millimeters and there's two of them and then the next thing that needs to be removed are these bolts right here and there's three of them there's one two three and then we're going to have to remove this with an allen key it's either this or with this and that will remove this part of the exhaust Something I forgot to mention is these three bolts are 12 millimeters. So you're gonna use a 12 millimeter socket. And to remove this part, you're gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this on with this part. And to remove it, there's these little things right here. You just pull down right here and it unclips. And it'll just detach from this right here. And that is it for this section. This is the. Um, part of the exhaust that we just removed now we remove now we move on to the diesel particulate filter now before moving on um, this thing that connected to that little injector thing this is where the def comes out of so um, keep in mind def will, fluid will come out of here so just have a little like a drip pan or something to catch all the diff that comes out from right here so a little flash forward into the future. Um, so I left this overnight, this part where the DEF belongs. And luckily I had a pan right here and all this 
is death right here. So if you're gonna leave this overnight, have a drip pan over the this right here because you're gonna get death leaking little by little. So just keep that in mind. Now to remove this diesel particulate filter, the DPF, go ahead and remove the, the belly pans. So we can get to the bolts that are connected on the other side of this, which is connected to the downpipe over here. Now we remove the diesel particulate filter, the DPF, which is this thing. So what's holding this is two 13 millimeter bolts right here. Another two 13 millimeter bolts right here, one right here, the one right here. And then we got three 12 millimeter bolts right here. So there's one, the two, and the third one is right up here, so it's going to be a little tricky to get to this one. And then two lines right here that you can see. Here's one line, and there's two lines. Um, at the moment, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but I'm sure I'll post it somewhere here on the screen what these two lines are. So once you get that, so now we're going to remove that. And that will be removal of the this part of the exhaust is the DPF and what then will be left is the downpipe. Here's the diesel particulate filter right here. So these two bolts are easy to get to but this one right here was a pain. So what I did for this one was against a 12 millimeter with a swivel then I did a 6 inch, another 6 inch and a 3 inch um, extension to get it somewhere like that. Um, there might be other ways to, easier way to do this but this was the way that I found that was somewhat easy. And also forgot one thing that I forgot to mention. There's another sensor right here and this is a 17 millimeter um, Allen they, they use to remove this sensor right here. So now that we're done with the diesel particulate filter, now it's time to remove the downpipe. Before I go on, I almost forgot on um, these two that I mentioned before, these what looks like seem like air hoses. So you got two different sizes. You got a bigger hole, which is this top one, and then this bottom one that runs along the side is slightly smaller. So if you ever have to go back to stock, just remember that this is the bigger one, that's the smaller one. So this is just air hose to my understanding. I may be wrong. So in the comments, feel free to correct me if I am wrong. The last part of the exhaust we can remove now is the downpipe. So from so we have three 12 millimeter um, nuts that we gotta remove. This sensor, that sensor, and then this sensor right here. That's what we need to remove from up here. Then we gotta go below the car to get one more bolt. Before the downpipe can be fully removed, we got one bolt right here that that's connected to the transmission, which is a 13 millimeter. And we got one more sensor that I totally forgot about, which is right there where my finger's pointing at. So once you remove this, the sensor, and this 13 millimeter bolt, you should be able to wiggle it free. To get to that last um, sensor that's below the catalytic converter, um, it's actually a little difficult to reach to um, reach get to it by um, underneath. So what you could do is leave it on the on the downpipe, and when you take out the downpipe. You, you bring the sensor with you. So what you have to do is disconnect the little sensor. And this is the connection right here. So you just disconnect this. And when you take it out, it will just come with the downpipe. All right, so I was able to remove the downpipe. Um, so what worked for me, and it's a little struggle, is you remove the downpipe and you just take it out from the bottom and take it out up here. And to help you just a little bit, I don't know if you can see these little, those, um, so these lines right here, these lines connect to the hoses that are on the DPF. So if you go ahead and un unscrew them so those can be loose, you can be able to wiggle it because this will help you make a little bit more clearance if you remove the bolts and these are free to wiggle. So now that we got all of the exhaust out, we're gonna go ahead and um, install the new exhaust.